In this video, we'll do a few iterations of the newton raphson method of root finding to show you how the algorithm works. The emphasis of this video is on understanding the process. We'll use MATLAB primarily as a calculator and to plot some stuff, but we won't be writing our own implementation of the newton raphson method here. We want to find the roots of the equation x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6.1. We first want to estimate the root graphically, then perform three iterations of the newton raphson method using this table to guide us. We made a similar table for the bisection method, but the percent relative error for the first iteration didn't exist because the initial guesses do not themselves comprise an initial guess of the root. However, the newton raphson method requires an initial guess of the root, so we can directly compute EA in the first iteration. Before we start filling out this table, let's plot the function. Here we are in MATLAB. Like I said earlier, the goal of this video is to demonstrate the newton raphson method manually, so this script is pretty simple. Here, I've defined the function we want to solve, and the derivative of the function below it. In lines 10 through 13, I have variables representing the iteration number, the value of the root from the previous iteration, and the estimated root for the current iteration. I'll be continuously updating these variables as we progress. The rest of the script just plots stuff, so you can examine it in more depth later if you want. As you can see, I tried to use MATLAB only to number crunch and to plot things. Before we get started filling out the table in the problem statement, we should examine the function. The function has three roots within the given interval 0 to 5. Our initial guess is x equals 3.5, so we'll probably converge on the root near x equals 3, but that's not guaranteed. Okay, let's do the first iteration. The appropriate values are already set in MATLAB. The command window displays the table values. It appears that the algorithm will eventually converge to the root around x equals 3. The plot gives us a great visual depiction of the newton raphson method. The black circle here indicates the y value of the initial guess. We draw the tangent line at the y value of the initial guess and trace it down until it hits the x-axis. The point of intersection becomes xr for the current iteration. In the next iteration, we'll take the tangent to the curve at x equals 3.1913, trace it down to the x-axis, and rinse and repeat. The plot shows a gradual improvement of the root estimate. The estimate keeps inching closer and closer to the actual root around x equals 3, and the percent relative error is rapidly decreasing. I'll tabulate these values and move on to the last iteration. Now it looks like the root estimate is pretty dang close to the true value of the root. The percent relative error is becoming pretty small, which indicates that further iterations will not be as much of an improvement over the last. This in turn signals that we are very close to the root. We can conclude that the function will converge to the root around x equals 3, so our initial guess of x equals 3.5 turned out to be good. The problem only wants us to do three iterations, so we can stop here. To summarize, we plotted the function and did three steps of the newton raphson method to illustrate its mechanics. I hope this gave you a better look into how the newton raphson method operates. See you next time.